Chuck, what are you doing? Making you a keyway. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Uh, man, what a day. I didn't do a closing video on the last, on yesterday. Um, took the lead, don't know how, off the start. I uh, just didn't have the pace to stay out in front. Um, they've been they've been trying to rough me up pretty good out here, so I don't know. If, I don't want the old Jorge to come back out, so I'm trying to keep it cool. Okay. Um, so um, Calvin was stupid fast, like gone, uh, and then Mikey and Bryce just drove through the field. So the speed's there for the guys. Uh, I'm doing a couple of changes here. Uh, I'm gonna run it a little bit differently than I usually do. Uh, I'm gonna widen the crap out of the cart. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, and then um, hopefully that would stop my issue, which I think I'm just over hiking it, but I don't know if it's gonna work or not, man. I don't know, I'm, I'm trying things right now. Uh, thanks Mick for all the help and advice. Um, it's just, we're bogging out of one or two corners. And then I'm doing a clutch setup. Thanks, Joe, for the information. So hopefully it comes through. Top five is doable. Top three is a big order. Winning is... I mean, I'm getting shoved down the straightaway on a gear lower than these kids on the heavy class. So I got nothing. I'm, I got nothing. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, and share. Send it. Fuck it. Let's have a good day. So out for warm up, and I was gonna follow Make and Make and puts the brakes on hard. I was like, "Holy crap!" Uh, he was waiting, uh, trying to let the guys behind us go by, but they didn't make a move either. They were probably waiting on us to go. Uh, I just wanted to go behind him, but then when we took off, he took off so fast. I was like, "Crap! I'm not gonna be able to catch him." So I had to make moves and just go forward. Uh, the changes I did made the cart feel better. It uh, stopped it from uh, losing the rear so much. Um, this track really didn't lay rubber down uh, the way that I expected it. I thought it was going to rubber up a lot more, but really there wasn't a lot of grip out there. Um, so I was just trying to add some grip to the chassis, stop it from over-rotating and then losing the rear. Uh, practice went fine in the morning. Uh, P3, good. Didn't expect too much more of that, to be honest. I expected somewhere in the top five, but P3, happy. Uh, on to Heat 3 and see what we can do. All right, guys, warm up in the books. Uh, P3, Kelvin P1, Bryce, I think, P3, and then Mikey P5. Uh, Mikey's bumper's dragging, so we're trying to fix that. I'm about to go on grid. I'm running late, like always, and then my cart just fell off the freaking cart stand. Okay, don't ever let Kelvin and Bryce push your cart. If the helmet would have hit the ground, they would not finish the race. I know that much. That's for sure, because they wouldn't make it to the grid. So for heat three, uh, Kyle uh, did not want to run um, the heat. He was already good with the starting position he had. He probably was going to start P5 anyway in the top five. Uh, he was focusing, I think, on K100 Masters. So we had a good start, gave him plenty of space because uh, I knew uh, he was going to, you know, go for it and uh, definitely not give me any space. So it was smart of me to, you know, let him go, get behind him, and then try to make a move. Um, the cart was doing pretty well, just losing the front end a little bit and then get the tire uh, going. And then I was just going to try to stay behind him as long as I could uh, before he would just walk away from me. Uh, the whole goal here was hopefully making uh, catch up and then from there on out um, he would be able to, uh, once I saw his nose, let him by. Um, give him the position because I need him to have a really good starting position because that's the only way I was going to be able to keep up. Here I make a huge mistake uh, and that's all it took. Uh, going to the last corner, turned in, cart just did not want to turn and then just acted really weird. And after that there was no running him down at all. So basically just rode around. Um, I saw that there was a pretty big accident behind me. I had a massive gap um, and then from there on out uh, just when I saw Megan's bumper, I pulled off to the side, uh, let him through, and then just coasted behind him uh, for the final uh, of the race. Really not saving tires because uh, this track was very kind to tires as well. Uh, just hitting my marks and seeing what I could do differently for the finals of just how the cart was acting. Um, I didn't have a lot of grip still, but it's weird. The cart felt better. Um, 
the grip situation was uh, not very high, so the cart was sliding around a lot, and I was losing the front end a lot. So it just acted a little weird. Also, the scales weren't working. Uh, they were 18 pounds off. They weren't going to recalibrate the scales anymore. So the people that could drop the weight in heavy did. Uh, and then the rest of us that had all the weight, we couldn't drop it. So basically, that was going to be uh, the gist of it. Uh, we were going to run. Some of us were going to have to run a little heavy. Uh, I think Macon was coming across the scale now, like at 405, 408, somewhere around there. I was crossing around around 412. Um, and all day yesterday, I was at 392 on the dot with no weight. So, um, yeah, kind of uh, kind of rough because, uh, you know, 18 to 20 pounds is a lot in our class. So it was already hard enough to try to run up front. <laughs> against some of these guys uh, doing that weight penalty. It, it basically solidified that there is no way on earth uh, any of us were going to end up winning it. Um, there's really not many of us in class that can drop the weight either. So uh, there might be three people that could drop the weight uh, and definitely they were going to end up doing it. Um, so for sure. Uh, yeah, they use it to their advantage. I mean, I used it on Kelvin's advantage. Kelvin doesn't want anything to begin with. He weighs like 125 pounds soaking wet, so I dropped the weight on him. Uh, dropped the, all the way I could on Mikey and Bryce as well. Bryce was still a little heavy, but uh, in the end, P3 for this heat. Uh, really happy uh, with the results, and then on to the finals, hopefully for a top three as well. Hey, uh, heat three in the books, guys. It went pretty well. Uh, Car's just uh, too free in the rear. It stopped over rotating, but now it just breaks loose in the rear. So I'm just gonna bring in the rear a little bit. Okay, I went too wide and I put a longer axle in it. Um, it stopped over rotating. Kid's about to go out. As you can see, we're taking weight off the cart because uh, the scales are almost 18 pounds heavier than yesterday. I was coming in consistently 392. I come off right now, I'm at 410. But she literally states they're not going to take, they're not going to change it. So if I was running the series, I would just put every class 15 pounds heavier. But, and for tech, everybody's been asking. I wasn't going to say anything, but all they checked is fuel, spark plug, and uh, they try to check minimum track width, but I think they forgot that we run 206. So it's all right. Things are going good. Finals coming up. Top five is the goal. So on to the finals. And here I was just going to give it everything I had and see what I could do. Uh, even though it was uh, a little bit of a disadvantage with the weight and everything was going on. We had a good start. Uh, we went side by side. I thought he was going to give me room on the outside. I should have known he was not. Uh, I could not bail out. Uh, I asked Macon, uh, what was the, uh, was it my fault for the hand gesture? And he said, no, he's, he just couldn't believe. <laughs> he couldn't believe that Ross would just blatantly drive me off track. Uh, so, yeah, that was uh, pretty, pretty crappy. And from that point on, I felt something was wrong with the cart. I ended up uh, snapping the seat. So I had the seat post in my side the whole time. And I was just flopping around. Uh, and then this race was a really, really long race. It was 18 minutes in the cart. And I don't wear a rib protector. So um, that right bar seat and all these damn turns are left-handers were digging into my side. It's okay. I have a little bit extra flesh. Uh, got a really good run on the 527. Uh, he was quick in the finals. He woke up. Uh, wanted to get like, a, like in front of him. Uh, he had a little bit more top end. So definitely... Um, it was, I wanted to get in front of him so, you know, my cart wasn't handling that well and then he can, I could tow him around on the slow section and he can push me on the top end. That was the whole goal. So I saw, uh, the 527 and, um, Noah behind. So I would drag brake down the straightaway cause I grabbed the small gap and I was letting them grab my toe. But then I noticed Noah makes a crazy move here on the inside. So after I saw that, that move happen, I'm like, well, forget this. And then I saw Macon uh, and the, the leader get into it. And I'm like, holy crap, I have a chance. 
even with the bumper caught in Ross's back tire and it was smoking, it didn't slow him down at all. It's like dragging brakes. <laughs> it, it did not matter to him at all. So, um, that's how it went. And then after that, I did not want to let Noah or uh, Martine's neck near me at all because I knew they weren't going to work with me. So, after that, it was just trying to drive away, hammer down. Uh, that time, I looked to my left and Kyle, uh, I'm guessing he cleared out some of the trash for us so we can uh, race cleanly. But uh, thank him for that. Uh, awesome facility. I want to thank... Uh, Amarillo uh, car complex uh, you guys have done tons of improvement um, I don't know why you guys run a barrier there off of turn two if it's for like cutting the track I don't see an advantage and if someone was going to cut the track blatantly I can't I think you can hand out a penalty um, you just can't move out of the way if you go two by two like I was generally worried about smashing the barriers a couple times going two by two Especially being on the outside and the inside road, not giving any space and no penalties handed out. So, uh, thanks to uh, Ruben Caceres for everything, Caceres Racing, uh, Bryce Frank Racing, uh, CR Graphics, Podium Products, AAM Motors, uh, Smoker Gear Performance, of course. Uh, thanks for Mike for all the help. Uh, thanks for uh, Mikey. Uh, Brian, Kelvin, thanks to everybody. Congratulations to Kelvin on his win. He kicked ass all weekend. Uh, smoked the competition. He had that Lawson motor freaking rolling. That MGM cart rolling. Lawson power, amazing. Thanks to everybody. And funny enough, the tech guy thought he DQ'd me the whole time. When it was actually he DQ'd Kelvin. <laughs> What's up, guys? End of the day. Uh, ran really well. Uh, P2 for myself Got driven right off the track first turn. I'm, I'm just glad I didn't hit the barrier They put a freaking retarded barrier on turn two that was extremely dangerous, but P1 uh, ran me off the track um, They never fixed the scale so all the heavy guys that could take off weight took 15 pounds off So they're really running 375 and I was running 395 <clears throat> Still P2, um, how you win here, you become a series sponsor. And this is not to every class, all right? Um, everybody keeps asking me, like, well, you know, uh, Reagan Seville, dude, that guy's legit as fuck, all right? Super cool dad. It, honestly, if the kid f would fuck up, I'm pretty sure dad would be like DQ him's ass or kick him out. Like, that's how cool they are. They're legit. Now, the heavy class... Max Paper Product, if you become the series, they just let you do whatever the hell you want. As long as you pay for a sponsor class. So that's how they do it out here. And apparently this is not a tech item. This is a tech tool right here. Calibrated finger checking for stuff. Uh, Kevin won the race. Uh, Bryce, I think it was P9, Mikey P11, kids ran really great. Um, yeah, I'm not going to hold back, so. It's uh, unbelievable. It's my fault. Should have kept my mouth shut. They would have taken out on Kelvin. It's the same motor I passed, Tech, first round, so. And they took down the whole head and checked everything. I even told him, send the head back to Briggs. No. Um, I thought they had a tech tool. I'm not 100% sure on the tech tool or not, but they said no. Um, they didn't check the springs. I'm guessing if you run a Stewart engine with fucked up springs, uh, you, you're good to go. So, Yeah, now I'm not holding anything back. So, Just fucking pissed. It's the biggest bullshit. Kevin and I have been running five, six years now together. Never failed tech. I have never failed tech in the seven years I've run. Never. I make one little comment about some springs and talk about the series. I get a phone call from the person running the series saying I'm talking bad about them. Well, the rule state is Scusa. And I haven't said anything negative around Scusa. But you make Scusa look bad. So if I was someone from Scusa, I would send someone out there to fix you guys' shit. 
And maybe you should call it someone that knows how to do Briggs Tech instead of fuel and spark plug every fucking time. And minimum track width, 53 inches. Fuck, man. I cannot believe it. Oh, I'm not doing the next round. Never come back out here for this series. I know that much. IFK, here I come. Speed sports. I'm trying to stay cool, but fuck it. Whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry, man. This is just raw emotions. You know, this is who I am. You thumbs up, thumbs down. You know, I just speak my mind. That's it. Just mad.